Fortnite events. Okay. In 2018, Fortnite decided to stand out from all Battle Royale games by secretly adding a comet in the sky. The developers didn't talk about it, and so we all assumed it was just a decoration or a cool- I remember when this happened, everyone was freaking out. They're like, there's, there's a comet! There's a comet in the sky! Hey, creep, creep! There's a comet in the sky! And now it's like, oh yeah, there's, there's, there's a comet in the sky. Yeah, yeah. Effect, but then it started getting closer. Day after day, the media hurtled towards the island, creating this almost magical feeling that something was about to change the game forever. Yeah. And it did. Do you hear that? Like that. Yeah, it's like a low hum, right? Bro, ninja. I just saw a star. The surprise, the build up, and the experience with your friends made this such an incredible moment. But somehow, years later, this magic has disappeared. It was, and it would have if I had any friends. Fracture wasn't just any live event, it was a chapter launch, and yet most fans argue it was the worst event Fortnite has ever done. But why? I agree. I hated the new event in Fortnite. It was it was bad. I didn't like it. This downfall of live events started way before chapter 4, and in my opinion, can still be fixed. To understand how to make them feel special again, we have to learn from the event that made them special to begin with. Instead of looking into the stars, we had an actual rocket on the map now. You could go up to it, take photos with it, and most players were panicking about what would happen next. You had to be in game at the- You know what, like, is weird, guys, like, right now? Like, this is what's weird about this. It's like, this happened in 2018. That was five years ago. That was five years ago. In the span of five years ago to now, we've had like, like, dude, 2020 happened. Like that, that, that's crazy. Like, it, it's just like, like, it almost makes you want to cry because like this was such a different time. The perfect moment or you'd miss it. So everyone rushed online. For the first time ever, people actually stopped shooting. We all joined together to watch the rocket blast off with entire lobbies becoming friends with each other. A truly once in a lifetime moment. It's going! Oh, <laughs> Bro, everyone was like freaking oh out, God. dude. Everyone waited in suspense, wondering what Fortnite could do next, not realizing they were about to raise the bar even higher. On a normal summer day, we were all just enjoying the game when Epic hit us with the most unexpected event of all time. Bro, is this, is this an event? What? Kevin the Cube! Happened. The mystery of the rocket was nothing in comparison to a cube that deflected bullets and killed anyone in its path. This was more than- That was an oof! Let's go! We got a Roblox oof, there we go. Just a prop, now events were giving us actual characters and so we immediately fell in love with Kevin. Every few hours he would move, which inspired so many people to create live streams dedicated to tracking him. Finally, he was approaching the lake and once again, everyone rushed to be a part of his journey ending. It's melting, it's melting. Look at all of Blue Lake. The water's purple. Oh, oh, it's all oh Guys, this is off topic, but I think I just ripped my pants. I did. I just ripped my pants. Okay. Back at this makes me feel so nostalgic, and it shows how special these events were. Not only was this the build up to Fortnite Mares 2018, but it also created- This is my favorite cinematic in the game. This one right here. Uh, I love this cinematic. It's so good. Six, which is about to take the story even further. The cube wasn't rolling around anymore. He evolved into an actual POI that you could land on. It was perfect storytelling as this floating island became more unstable. And considering how attached we were to Kevin, everyone was nervous. With Loot Lake, Fortnite proved they could change a POI in the middle of a game. And now they were doing it constantly with the floating island. Little did we know the upcoming event wouldn't just affect Kevin. It would change the entire map. God? What? Am I dead? <laughs> Bro, even Laser Beam looks so young. Like, we're all old dudes now, you know? <laughs> what is this? Look at all these people. Why is everybody got their face cam in the same spot? I'm going for Everybody's me. got their face cam in the same oh spot as me. God. Look at this. What? It's mine. Now that guy's bald. Now that right there is a this true was bald the man. the first time we'd seen anything like this. And by now, Fortnite was known as the only game on earth that could pull this off. So when the next event was announced, expectations were through the roof. Epic had raised the bar every single time. But with Kevin out of the picture, a new character needed introducing. Except this time, it was the Ice King. We weren't as curious about this guy compared to Kevin, which should have been a warning sign from the very beginning. As the countdown hit zero, we held our breath in anticipation. Oh, he's doing something. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, what the hell? Oh, whoa, 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 Lachlan. Bro, bro. I'm a Roblox YouTuber. 
We're reacting to a Fortnite video. You're not allowed to swear here, Lachlan, okay? You're not allowed to swear here. All right, I'm, I'm going to call Lachlan right after this stream. And I'm going to tell him you can't do that. I, how, how, how dare he? Well, no, I thought I, I thought we were best friends. What's he going to do? What the heck? I think the entire map is snowy now. It's an ice storm. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll call him. I'll call him after. Don't worry. Where's the dragons? Where is the dragons? After having our minds blown by the butterfly event, the Ice King seemed a little underwhelming. I didn't like the Ice King event. I didn't like it. It was impressive to see him cover the island in snow, but it was too predictable. By now, the reputation was so good that millions of people were watching these events and it backfired massively. The servers couldn't handle it anymore. Even if you were 30 minutes early, you would struggle to log in. And this left many players salty when they ended up missing the whole thing. It was the first time Epic had truly messed up and the pressure was on to redeem themselves with one of the greatest events of all time. Instead of creating a story, they decided to focus on an experience that would make headlines. Fortnite was now the most popular game on the planet and they needed to go big or go home. The only way to do that was by contacting Marshmallow and revealing the Showtime concert. What we all thought would be a lighthearted collab turned out to be a- This was so cool, dude. Like, this is what Roblox concert should be. Like this, like this is, this is so good. Full scale event with visual effects and Marshmallow talking to us. It was mind blowing. We had never seen anything like it and everyone was begging for more. This is when Fortnite totally played us. For the next few months, we all paid attention to the huge volcano POI that was on the map and imagined how cool it would be if it erupted. These theories were debunked when the actual buildup began as we had to work together as a community to solve puzzles and unlock the vault. Each rune had a different way to solve it and it was a teaser for just how interactive the event was gonna be. As the doors opened, the unfolding was revealed. Get in! I'm in. Oh my god! What's happening? We're all beat I swear, you guys gotta move y'all's face cam. Like, somebody's gotta move their face cam. It can't. They can't all be in the same spot! Look at this, man! Everybody's got it in the same spot! We're all floating up. Going back on. Now this is where everyone's theories actually came true. It wasn't just a way to unvault the drum gun. It was a grand finale for the volcano to deliver a shocking blow. Oh my God, it's gonna hit me! Oh, there's three of them. Yup. Yep. Oh. Yep. Bro, I wish. Oh, I wish Roblox did stuff like this, man. Oh, that'd be so cool. Like, like, like more Roblox games need to do live events. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, dude. Like, oh, dude. imagine. Epic kept the momentum going with their most ambitious event of chapter one. It started with a creepy eye that stalked you without blinking, and it got a lot of people talking. We couldn't tell if we were excited or terrified, and that's when it broke free, only to disappear in the ocean. At the same time, a huge robot was being constructed at the volcano, and we connected the dots to figure out a final showdown with- I know RB Battles is doing this. I, I know. I, I meant like more games, you know? Coaching. It hadn't even started, and it was already memorable. Nobody knew who would win the fight, and as the clock reached zero, our minds were blown. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dude, oh this was so cool. Look at the map, yo, north, north, north. Oh my god, bro, this is actually insane. Oh, 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 he's running. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Dude, that's oh god, so cool, dude. He's taking the statue. Oh my god, it's a sword. Dude, that's oh, so cool. Oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Every great Bro, event until so now has awesome. been unpredictable, keeping us on the edge of our seats and putting on an incredible performance. That's when the chapter one finale was announced. We had no idea what to expect, and the mystery of something called the end was exciting on its own. The only image was the island waving goodbye to the bus driver, and it kind of felt permanent. This had a completely different atmosphere. Fortnite actually convinced us that it might be shutting down for good. So as we watched the rockets blast off, the only thing left to do was enjoy the ride. How many rockets? The meteor's powering up! Oh, this is gonna blow! Everybody thought Fortnite was done, dude. Like, they were just gonna turn the game off. Like, it was crazy. Like, my grandma called me and she's like, Have you heard about this Fortnite game? Your parallel's over! All the kids are talking about it! It's over! There's no more! They're shutting it down! Blow it up! It's going to the zero point! It's going to the zero point! Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> look up! Look this up, is up. gonna be me at the RB Battles live event. The comet! The comet's up! Oh my god! 
Oh, oh my god! Dude, I'm off the map. Yeah, I'm off the map. And then it's over. My Done. God. Bam. Gone. Looking back makes us feel so nostalgic, and honestly, you're left wondering, where did it all go wrong? We stared at this black hole full of excitement and hope for another year of pushing the bar higher, but it didn't exactly go as planned. As we were thrown into Chapter 2, it was already off to a pretty rocky start. Fortnite announced a Star Wars event, and we should have paid more attention because this was the first sign that things were beginning to crack. For a few minutes, there was hope, a huge intro with Star Wars music, ships flying around, and the Millennium Falcon making a grand entrance. Then it got weird i hate this movie so much I, I i i don't like it as it turned into a talk show with jj abrams where he featured a clip from the movie as a send-off they gave us lightsabers but despite some positives the fans walked away feeling disappointed and said this was nothing more than an ad just like in chapter one any sign of a bad event was immediately followed up by a concert and it made everyone forget what happened this time better than ever travis scott took the stage or so we thought as he arrived on a huge planet the fake stage was destroyed and at this moment, we knew Astronomical was about to break the internet. They took everything we loved over the years and dialed it up to 11, taking us on a journey through space, warping the island, and even sending us underwater. To this day, it's still the most popular event in Fortnite history, and it's the biggest virtual concert of all time. It's probably why we ignored the signs, because Epic always found a way to redeem themselves in the end. Or so we thought. Trying to follow up- I wonder how many people- played Robloxes. If this is the most popular one or how many people uh, played Robloxes. Like Astronomical was gonna be a challenge. So they decided to go back to the roots with the device event. It had all the classic ingredients, an evolving POI, a mysterious villain, and tons of hype. That's all you needed for success, right? Hit the button! Whoa! Oh Absorbing the storm's power right now. Oh, I remember yeah, this! It. We streamed this! Did they just troll us? Wait a oh, second. The default skin. Dude, we're we glitching out? in and out of the matrix, bro. Oh. Is that it? Is it over? Oh That's God. gotta be it. For the first time ever, players finished an event and said, is that it? Instead of being mysterious, players are more so confused. Maybe it's because of how insane Travis Scott was, but something about the device felt off. And that feeling was starting to grow as we prepared for a huge battle against Galactus. Epic was teasing this as the biggest event yet. Does this mean Fortnite fell off? Yes, obviously we were hyped, especially when the villain is planet-sized. There was a lot of potential here, and with seconds to go, it was time for the Devourer of Worlds. Oh. He's gonna swipe us, bro. He's gonna swipe us. Ah! That's where the zero point is. It's under the ruins. No! No! Oh, shoot. It's fighting back. Yes, fighting Fortnite back. did. Oh, dude, what is going on? It's actually a black hole. Black hole? Black hole? <gasps> I'm in the bathroom! It's way too early in the morning for this. Actually, I take it back. I think this is my favorite event. I think this one was my favorite Fortnite event. This one right here. I loved this one. I didn't sign up for this. I thought it was going to have several sections of it. Like, I thought it was going to go from, like, bus to, like, powers to something else. Once again, that underwhelming feeling was still in the back of our minds. People didn't like that? What? There's so many great things to say about this event, but people thought it was mostly anticlimactic and far too predictable. Put it simply, Galactus felt like the world's easiest boss fight, and this problem would continue to snowball. The downward spiral was becoming more obvious, and Fortnite had to come up with a solution. The Zero Crisis finale sounded great at first. In fact, Epic got the Russo brothers to direct some of it. What could go wrong? So as it began... For the people that don't know, they made Avengers Infinity War and Endgame. Our excitement skyrocketed. The Russo's cutscene was beautiful, Beautiful, action-packed, and fully warmed us up for what was to come. As it ended, the gameplay began and it was a disaster. You weren't able to do this with your friends because it was a solo event, and this is where they totally missed the mark. You just followed NPCs and closed portals for a few minutes, which got old pretty quick. But thankfully, there was a reason to stick around. As the music got louder, the grand finale was about to begin. Oh, that's where the rock comes in, isn't it? You don't have to do this. Is this the rock? I'm going up. Okay, Russo now. brothers like Russo plays. Yeah, he's actually related to them. If you guys don't know that, that's uh, he's their brother. Ah, that's good. Oh, we won't get another chance. You no! need to seal off the zero point and overload the device. No! Oh my gosh, he's inside. Bro! 
while it was memorable, the magic just wasn't there. You could argue it wasn't playing with your friends or the tasks being straight up boring, but it was pretty easy to shrug off after the multiple insane events before this. Now it was time for the annual concert, and Ariana Grande stepped up to the stage as the headline. This is my favorite event, this one right here. You know, I've said that a few times, but this is my favorite one. A great choice as usual, but as the event began, it yeah. seemed all over the place. There was a random memory scan at the beginning, followed by two songs from Juice World and Sia, and then a boss fight with the Storm King. Just like Galactus, we only had to point and shoot. It was nothing That's my new. favorite one. And after five minutes, the Ariana concert finally began. The music was great, the visuals were stunning, and that magic of Fortnite felt like it returned. Epic were rewarding our patience, and now they just needed to keep that momentum. Operation Skyfire was their next test, and nobody knew what to expect. Would Chapter 2 be carried by collabs, or would Fortnite prove themselves? Whoa, look at these killers! Wait, is it what zombies? Is there this zombies this here? Yo, look at this UFO right Oh, this is the UFO. The aliens Wait, Kevin, Kevin! How many Kevins are there? Why is ours oh. No, 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 no. Man, this was so Iron cool. Man, is Iron Man gonna save us this time? Yo. Now, oh yeah, this is where you get hit by a UFO, Instantly, isn't it? Instantly, this was loved by the fans. It was tense, mysterious, and included the greatest plot twist Epic has ever done. We were so happy that the game was back to normal, but unfortunately, it would only last a few more months. Season 8 was about to end, and this came with a lot of pressure. After the success of the Black Hole, they knew they had to get this right. We all wondered how they could possibly live up to the first end event, but maybe we shouldn't have doubted them. With that guy, I watched you die. This may be the greatest moment in video game history. Dude, The Rock, man. The Rock, dude. Like, imagine if they got The Rock in Roblox. Like, official. Well, they did. But Black Adam doesn't count. You know what I mean? Oh, it's, the <laughs> it's The Rock! We're going to be outside the island. It's a new map. Oh, oh my God. Oh! <laughs> if it's just to be continued, I'm gonna be so mad, bro. This is it. Blackout. Black hole. Oh, I think this is where it I come in. Mesmerizing. Get ready. This is where I come in. Get ready. like an actual movie. Not just because The Rock was in it, but how insane the island flip was. At this point, all doubt was completely gone. Everyone was excited for Chapter 3, and what could possibly be better than this? The answer, though, was nothing. We didn't know it yet, but Fortnite was about to ruin everything. For years, we were building towards a war between the Seven and the IO, and it was now time for them to clash. We have been waiting for this longer than any other event. Epic knew how important this was, bringing back characters like the mecha team leader and introducing fresh faces with the origin and geno all the signs are promising they even started it from space but they spent so much time hyping up collision it became their downfall you got the thing in your stomach a little bit like, like oh yeah, 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 yeah. wait 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 hold your fire hold your fire oh he's slow you don't have to do this how the hell are you i i, I did someone just say a bad what the what the <laughs> what whoa Bro, these streamers, we gotta we gotta send them to jail for swearing. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna call the police after this and tell them. Oh, oh, to be continued. <laughs> the story of the event. Don't worry, guys, we'll we'll send them to jail, don't worry. To be incredibly confusing, with the actual ending being revealed in a comic months later. People were disappointed after realizing the gameplay was just pointing and shooting again. So much potential had been lost. Yeah, they should have put Ariana Grande in there. It would have been a lot better if they had Ariana Grande. Or the um or the um the one person from the uh the island thing, the cube cinematic giving person. us that same feeling from all those years ago what's crazier is how chapter 3 only had one other live event and that was the finale in the past epic put their heart and soul into these and because of that there were some huge expectations from black hole to island flip what was next the stars aligned for this to be their ultimate redemption but sadly it turned out to be the final nail in the coffin that's me look it's me it's me, bro. I'm sitting there. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> my face. Oh, my what? face. Bro, this is such a weird event. Okay, I gotta drop off a chicken here. Hell yeah. Oh, point. man. So, wait, was it not really even an event then? You're a fing kid. Apparently. Don't worry. I'm gonna. Laser beam's gonna go to jail. Don't worry. There's been something 
There wasn't Bro, any. I made it in the video, though. An event, though. Millions of people consider this to be one of the worst events Fortnite has ever made. Months of build up or shrugged off, and clearly something went it wrong. It was so bad. It was such a bad event. In production with unanswered questions, deleted scenes in the files. It like, look, they literally had Brie Larson, a.k.a. Captain Marvel. And they didn't do anything with her. Like, you got Captain Marvel in the game. And, like, like just, just... Something went wrong in production with unanswered questions, deleted scenes in the files. It just left a weird impression on all of us. We're officially at an all-time low. Gone are the days of revolutionary in-game experiences that make your whole squad speculate and have no idea what's coming next. It now feels like the best parts are in cutscenes, and we can't even trust them because it could be undone by a comic a few weeks later. If Fortnite truly wants to fix events in the future, it needs to be a community experience, it has to be a surprise with a great amount of buildup, but most importantly, it just can't be basic point and shooting that doesn't even matter because you'll beat it anyway. Love to hear your suggestions. If yeah, I, I think they should um just make a good event, you know, that's all it is. That's all it is. <laughs> just, just make a good event, man. <laughs> that's all you gotta do, guys. Just make a good event. That's it. Oh, man. That was an interesting video. What is this?